All right, guys, core five, League of Elite. These are the five daily habits that if you nail these five habits down on a consistent basis, and I'm talking about when I say nail down, score eight out of 10 for each of these categories, sleep, nutrition, exercise, water, mindset. You score eight, nine, or 10 out of 10 daily, consistently over time, you will change your physique forever. Not only that, you'll be healthier, you'll be able to perform physically at a higher level, you will slow down the aging process. And who knows, maybe in the next five, six years, you'll develop your best body ever. All right, no limits. That's the mindset we're going into. We want to score a percentile of 80% plus, you get 90% plus, watch your performance, your progress accelerate like crazy. Okay, so where do you pick up the points? Let's talk about sleep. Okay, sleep is the number one thing that'll keep you energized, functioning throughout the day properly. All right. So for me, a 10 out of 10 is seven plus hours of restful sleep. Standard bedtime, you go to bed 10, 11, you get your seven hours, you wake up at a regular time. All right. This is the case with both weekdays and weekends. You want to keep your circadian rhythm in order. And that's why you don't want to sleep in. You don't want to stay up late one night. It'll mess you up. When you get less than the seven hours sleep, let's say you get a shitty sleep, it's on, it's interrupted, or you only get five hours of sleep, watch your performance over the course of the day. It is rarely ever good. All right. So if you want to perform optimally, you want to get your sleep. On the back end of that, when you actually have a tough day, you're working out, you're stressed, the best way to recover from that both mentally and physically is sleep biggest anabolic factor you can think of is sleep. All right, we talk about supplementation, supplement your sleep. Make sure your sleep is bang on. Make sure the room's dark, the room's quiet. There's a, a perfect temperature for sleeping. You don't have distractions, right? You got a good mattress. Get a 10 out of 10 in this category. Now, nine out of 10 is not necessarily a standard bedtime. You might be going to bed 15, 30 minutes later. You might be a little restless going to bed. Um, that's a nine. All right, an eight is a restful six plus hours of sleep. A seven out of 10 is a restful six plus hours where you didn't go with the standard bedtime. You kind of went to bed a little later. All right, I want you to score eight or higher at a 10. Number two, on a daily basis, you nailed, need to nail down your nutrition. Now, this is a game changer in terms of getting you leaner. All right, um, 10 out of 10 is your calories are spot on, not eyeball, like you've actually measured your stuff out. You've got high quality nutrients, very hard to score 10 out of 10. All right, nine out of 10, your calories are on and you've got some good nutrients. Eight out of 10, your calories are on and the nutrients are satisfactory. Seven, nutrients are good, but your calories are slightly off. You're using an eyeball technique. Now understand something guys, measuring is a pain in the ass. All right, but the bottom line is, when you go to a pharmacist, they'll say to you, well, okay, how much do you weigh? Here's how you take your prescription. They don't give you an overabundance, they give you what you need. Why should the biggest drug that enters your body, which is food, be any different? Okay, I want you to measure out your nutrients. I'll give you an example. If I need 175 grams of protein daily because of my workout and work schedule, and I'm not getting that, I'm not building muscle. Okay, 50 doesn't cut it, 150 doesn't cut it, 175 does. 180 gives me a little bit more of a, a, a bigger, more muscular physique, right? You want to hit your numbers, go over your calories over time. You know, let's say 120 calories over because you're using the eyeball technique. What ends up happening is 120 times 31 days, 3,500 calories. All of a sudden you've gained a pound. Five months later, you're five pounds heavier. You're like, what did I do wrong? It was those extra calories. All right. Be precise with your nutrition. You want to make some changes. That's the game changer. You want to get leaner, like nail your nutrition, get a bit of a caloric deficit and, uh, you know, exercise and just watch your body change. All right. Third one, exercise. You want to score 10 points. Here's the deal. 30 plus minutes of vigorous exercise. So what's vigorous? You're huffing and puffing. Your lungs are working. Your heart's working. You're sweating. Your muscles feel fatigued. That's a 10. Now, does that mean that you should be working out every day? You should be doing something every day. So for example, if I'm going out for a hike for 30 minutes, walking the dog, the reality is I'm not exercising. I'm walking the dog. All right. But if I were to get out of breath for some short spurts during that session, like walk a little faster, walk up a hill bonus, that's a 10 out of 10. 
even though you're taking a day off, you're still doing something active. Now, um, as far as the walks are concerned, doing that after dinner metabolizes your food. It's just a smart move. So yes, I understand you do need to take days off, but in terms of actually doing something active, there are no days off. 10 out of 10, it's 30 plus minutes, vigorous. Nine out of 10, it's 30 plus minutes and you're out of breath at times. Eight out of 10 is 30 plus minutes. Okay, there's gonna be days where you take a day off of training, whether that's you know cycling or working out. Um, I want you to put in 20 minutes of exercise. Okay, at least give yourself seven points. Got it? Okay, let's talk about water. Sometimes people mistake hunger for thirst. All right, what ends up happening is you didn't get enough water in and you start craving when in fact, if you drank your water on a regular basis, you'd be fine. All right, so water, 10 to 12 glasses spread out is 10. So what is a, a glass? A glass is 250 milliliters of water, all right? So having said that, you take one of those standard bottles, that's two cups, that's two cups of water. The way I like to do it, I like to have water during my meals, all right? Usually beforehand. So I'll have two cups before breakfast, I'll have two cups before lunch, I'll have two cups before dinner, and then throughout the day, I'll have another two and two, all right? Especially tied around my workouts. But ideally what you wanna do is you wanna spread them out because ends what ends up happening is if you have it too late, uh, it'll interrupt with your uh, sleep patterns. To guarantee you'll be taking a piss in the middle of the night. So 10 out of 10, 10 to 12 glasses spread out. Nine out of 10 is 10 to 12 glasses, not necessarily spread out. Eight out of 10 is eight to 10 glasses. You miss those couple of glasses. And then seven is six to eight. All right, this is gonna vary depending on the size of your body. If you're a huge man, you're gonna need more water. If you're living in a place like Costa Rica where it's fucking hot, guess what? You're probably gonna need a little more water some days, All right? If you're very active, you run you know, two hours, you're gonna need a little more water. If it's a bit colder, a little less active, you're more sedentary throughout the day, you can get away with 10. But water is critical, guys. You wanna lubricate your joints, you wanna hydrate yourself, your body's made up of water, all right? Like, 65, 70% water, depending on your age, you want to hydrate yourself at all times. All right. Final one is mindset. Okay. Controlling the mental game. Now here's the deal guys. There's going to be so many things that get in your way and it comes down to EQ, your emotional quotient. How do you deal with um, struggles along the way? Getting into shape is simple, but it's not easy because of the emotional struggles sometimes. All right. So something as simple as, you know, a rough day at work, people end up saying, fuck it. I'm just going to order out. I'm going to take a break. I deserve some ice cream, whatever that may be. That's the wrong thinking. That's going to mess you up. The other thing too, is a negative mindset. You listen to CNN and you hear that the world's falling apart. Uh, it doesn't play in your mind properly. Okay? You want to be clear with your workouts, with your nutrition, with your interactions, with your family, with your interactions with the people around you. And the way you do that is you put positive stuff in your mind. All right. Super critical, guys. Your mindset is going to determine where you go. So having a positive mindset, maybe meditating, reading some good books, listening to podcasts, uh, that kind of stuff to sharpen up your mind, learning youth skills, um, planning out your day. 10 out of 10 is your low stress, your high motivation. You're putting some positive stuff in your mind. That's a 10. 9 out of 10, low stress, moderate motivation. And again, you've got the inputs going into your head. Good podcast, really good quote, something that inspires you. 8 out of 10, you're managing stress because everyone's going to have their shit days, but you manage your stress. You handle your emotions accordingly. All right. You got some motivation because you know your goals in front of you and you put in some kind of input. Um, that's an eight. Seven out of 10, a little bit lower. To me, it's not acceptable. That's where you manage your stress. You're aware of your goals. You don't fuck up. You don't compromise your goals. You put some inputs in your head. All right. Like I said, guys, you want to score an eight, nine or 10 in each of these categories daily. Okay, you do that on a regular basis over the course of two, three weeks, it becomes a habit. This is what's going to steer you to moving to the next level physique wise, and it's not going to happen overnight. I always say that the first 21 days forms the habits. The second 21 days, you develop a little bit of results. The third, you see an acceleration. The fourth 21 days, you become a master at your habits, and that's going to propel you from here on in. 
Okay, so there's the core five, nutrition, sleep, mindset, exercise, water, nail these down. And I didn't add the reason why it's up here in this room for you to see is because you want to be accountable at the end of every night, you want to report your score to me and or the group, let them know where you're at. The moment you don't do it, guaranteed, guaranteed, it's not a priority. You've backed off because you might be embarrassed about something. Fuck it, you're embarrassed. It doesn't matter. Post it to anyone. Everyone has a bad day. So what you do is you wash it off and you restart the next day. All right. Core five, 21 strong. What's your score? 80 plus gives you great results. Believe me, 70 doesn't cut it, guys. It keeps you at maintenance level. Maintenance level is shit. It's not good enough. Eight out of 10 plus 80%. 85 is even better. 94, some really have good habits. I've, I don't think I ever get to 100. It's just very, very difficult to do. You don't need to do that. You need to do the ordinary extraordinarily well. You do not need to do extraordinary things. Stay consistent. I promise you, consistency is the name of the game. Let's leave it at that. Core five, 21 strong, 80 plus.